Hello again guys, it's me Unstable Voltage and today I have a little tutorial for you on how to install the Sfax BD Purecraft texture pack for Feed the Beast. This is the texture pack that I use in all of my videos. Now installing the texture pack is a little more difficult than it is in vanilla Minecraft and things such as Techit and the main reason for that is to get this texture pack to work you need the Optifine mod. Unfortunately the Optifine mod isn't included in Feed the Beast by default, but with these simple steps it's quite easy to get it working. The first thing you want to do, start up your Feed the Beast launcher and just double check what version of Minecraft we are currently up to. Uh, with most of the mod packs you should find the current version is 1.4.7, so that's the number you need to remember. So go on to your internet and what you want to do is you can either search for it in your favorite search engine or just go directly to it which is uh, http colon forward slash forward slash bdcraft.net and that will take you to bdcraft's website where you can get the Sfax texture pack so if you click on the texture pack link uh, scroll down a little bit and you will find the download button and here you will have a list of pure craft B, uh, pure BD craft for Minecraft texture packs. So what you can see, you've got different packs depending on the resolution of the textures. So the uh, 128 by 128 is recommended. Obviously, if you've got an older, lower performance machine, you can go for something lower res. If you've got a complete powerhouse of a PC, you can go for something a little bit higher but 128 is the recommended so that's what we'll do and there are different versions of it depending on which version of Minecraft you are using so we're using 1.4.7 so we want to click on that link wait for all the advertising to go away and download the texture pack once you've downloaded the uh, sort of standard texture pack for, for vanilla Minecraft uh, you need to then navigate to this address here is probably easier just to go to your favorite search engine and type um, uh, feed the beast sfax or ftb sfax but it essentially takes you to the bdcraftnet forum but like I said it's probably easy to get there via a search and that will take you to this page on the forum now what you want to do is download the uh, texture pack that matches the one that you have. So we've downloaded the 128 by 128 so that's the one we want to download. So I've already downloaded both of those and the third and final thing you need to download is Optifine. So the web address for that site is http colon forward slash forward slash optifine.net and you can navigate straight to forward slash downloads.php or you can literally just click the downloads button at the top and that will take you there so what you need to then do is scroll down and find the right version of Minecraft now you'll notice there isn't a 1.4.7 here um, but that's fine because 1.4.6 still works just as well what you need to decide is whether you want the um, uh, Optifine HD standard or the Optifine HD Ultra again very much performance uh, dependent on your machine um, I've gone for the Optifine 1.4.6 HD Ultra always take the top one because that is the most current version so that's everything downloaded that we need what you then need to do is take the um, Sfax texture pack that you downloaded and extract the file so there we go, so we've now got the Sfax folder, that is the uh, texture pack for vanilla Minecraft. We then want to extract the Feed the Beast specific um, texture pack that we downloaded. So once the Feed the Beast um, expansion is downloaded, that texture pack, you want to copy everything in the directory, go into the, um, the st uh, standard vanilla texture pack for Sfax and paste everything back into there. You might get a couple of files and folders that come up and say that they are duplicated like we've got here. Um, if that's the case just confirm for a replace, there's only the one that comes up. So that's fine. So what we now have here is our Sfax Pure Craft or Pure DB Craft folder which also has the Feed the Beast files injected into it. So what you need to do now is put Optifine into your game. So you don't need to extract the Optifine zip file, you can take the zip file as it is, make a copy of it, 
go into your Feed the Beast directory wherever it is installed. So Feed the Beast, Ultimate, Minecraft, and you want the mods folder. And in the mods folder, just paste Optifine, the full zip file, into the mods folder. If I now start up my Feed the Beast launcher, and what I want to do now, I'm obviously on the Feed the Beast Ultimate, because that's the version I use. Press the button at the top that says Edit Mod Pack. Now, if we look down on the left hand side, you can see that it already has Optifine there because we've put it in the directory. But one other thing we want to do is enable the Jar Mod. So that's your normal mods. Click on the Jar Mod tab at the top. And as you can see, all we've got there is the light loader in Minecraft Forge. So what you need to do is go um, open folder, well, actually add mod, I think, for this one. So yeah, go to add mod, and then you need to navigate to the same place where everything was installed. So it is in E, Feed the Beast, Ultimate, Minecraft, and where are we? I've lost it, mods, there we go and find Optifine on that list. So this is the same directory where we've just put the Optifine zip file, there it is. So select that and open. And now you can see we have the Optifine mod added to the launcher. So we can close that down. Next thing to do is start up the game and make sure that that has worked. Now just for a comparison, this is what the options menu looks like before Optifine is installed. If we go into the video settings, you'll find the uh, options here are quite limited. There are uh, basically 14 options and the video settings don't have an awful lot to choose from there. It ends after full screen and vSync. If we then go back and look at what Minecraft looks like once we have turned Optifine on, and here we go, this is the client started up after installing the Optifine mod. If we go into the options and the video settings, you will see we have a few more options here, including quality, performance and other. So if you have these options here at the bottom right hand corner, uh, that means you have managed to install Optifine. So you've got all these extra video options which will help you improve quality and performance. So once you've done that, it's in the same place and go into options, into video settings and you have a texture packs button. And the best way to do this is to open the texture pack folder and it'll navigate exactly where you need to, uh, need to go. Just uh, go to your desktop, find the feed, the Sfax Pure BD Craft uh, folder, the one which you copied the Feed the Beast stuff into. Copy that entire thing into your Texture Packs folder. And now we can go back into the game client and you will see that the Sfax Pure BD Craft Texture Pack has now appeared at the bottom. There's quite a lot of large textures, so it might take a minute or two just for it to register all of the files. Once Minecraft's finished registering all those files, if you just give that texture pack a click, and again, don't be surprised if it takes a minute or two to switch over because it takes a while for it to register all of those texture files. And there we go, you can now see that the background menu and buttons have changed. So if I hit done, again, the process of switching textures can take a minute or two, so bear with it. And there we go, it kicks us back out to our video settings menu. Let's get out of all the menus, go into a single player game. And there we go, we are into Minecraft Feed the Beast with sheep bleating and the Sfax um, Pure BD Craft Texture Pack installed. Uh, some of the trees and things are still popping in, that's because I've installed Optifine but I didn't actually spend any time configuring it to optimise it for my setup and I'm also running Minecraft in a window while recording which it doesn't like all that much. Uh, but there you have it, that's the um, Sfax Pure BD Craft Pack installed into Feed the Beast with Optifine and you are ready to go. So as always I hope you found this video useful and I will see you next time.